Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Justice card, and this is Libra energy. So this is a card of fairness, balance, karma. Um, there could be someone coming towards you with an apology or wanting to right their wrongs in some way, taking accountability for something. They could be giving you the truth about something, and it's kind of balancing things out for you. Um, it's like you're getting some sort of validation when it comes to a situation where you may have felt like things were unfair or unjust. Um, there is also an energy of partnership here and truth. Um, so it does look like someone genuinely is coming towards you with good intentions and you are receiving some sort of good karma with this card. Okay, so let's see. We have the Three of Swords in the reverse air energy. We have the Death card in the reverse Scorpio energy. And we have the Queen of Cups water energy. So it does look like someone who broke your heart. They want to come towards you and apologize. Um, someone you experienced that three of swords energy with. And this person could have really hurt you. And it looks like whatever they're doing here, it's going to be quite a healing moment for you. You may not even realize how much you needed this, you know, until after you receive it. You know, it's like something you may have even believed that you were over it. Um, but something about them doing this, you know, them showing up in a genuine and responsible way towards you does kind of help you um, heal. You know, you may not have realized this, but your heart is being healed. And with the Queen of Cups, there's again an energy of um, someone coming with emotional maturity. You know, they're coming from their heart space. They they are being genuine towards you. There's sincerity here. You may have been really kind towards this person because they do view you as this Queen of Cups energy. So you could have been very nurturing, very giving and sincere towards them. And, you know, it's like for whatever reason, they couldn't return that to you in the past and they, they do regret it and it looks like they want to own up to that. We do have the death card in the reverse which does show that for this person they have felt this um, feeling, this nagging feeling like this unfinished business that they need to return to the situation and make things right, um, that they, they, they do owe you something here. So we do see them revisiting something with you. So let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of victory. This is a card of uh, recognition. So it looks like someone is going to be giving you your flowers, you know, giving you some sort of acknowledgement and validation. Um, I'm seeing someone who took you for granted in the past and they actually do want you to know that they do appreciate you and your absence is very noticed. It's very felt, you know, because you brought a lot of value to this person's life. And at the time they may have, you know, you know, treated you like they didn't see it or they didn't appreciate it. And it looks like they do want to kind of give you your appreciation, you know, your flowers with this card. Okay, so let's see. We have the Hanged Man in the reverse, Pisces energy. We have the Empress, Venus energy. And we have the Emperor, Aries energy. Okay, so this person, they do see you as someone who, um, you know, is very divine. Like, you, they, they do see you as someone that, at the time, they may not have been ready, you know, because we have the Emperor and the Empress. These are very, like, divine counterparts kind of energy. So there may have been something quite intense about the connection, and they weren't ready for it, and they may have, as a result, 
kind of handled the situation poorly, you know, and you could have been, you know, mistreated by this person. And they do, they do regret that. This person does have a conscience. They do have a heart and they, they do want to address that. And they want to come in a more mature way. This could be someone who's used to getting things done their way. Like they like things on their terms. They may have control issues. And this could be another reason why you guys may have clashed in some way. Um, but this is someone who has been humbled by their experience with you. And they do want you to know that. Um, we are seeing them still regarding you highly. And it looks like they would still even be willing to enter into another partnership with you. But on the right notes this time around. Because they've learned from the past. We have the hanged man. And it's in the reverse. So their connection with you has really changed their perspective. They were very set in their ways when they used to deal with you. And, you know, this is someone who was stubborn. They were very my way or the highway. And with the hanged man in the reverse, it's like this experience kind of opened their eyes. It broadened their horizon. And we are seeing someone who is um, looking at something from a more open heart space. They, they, they're more in touch with their emotions and empathy. Like they're showing you empathy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out. An oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. Okay, so this is someone who does feel like they need to step up in some meaningful way. And they do want to show you that they're serious. They, they're owning up to something. They're being more responsible. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship so this person may have been inauthentic with you when you dealt with them they may have been wearing a mask they may have deceived you or they may have led you on or lied to you um, but with this card there's also an energy of again you having to really be cautious with this person um, you know make sure that they're being genuine and that they are being authentic you know that they're not just trying to get your uh, forgiveness so that they can enter into a partnership with you again Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have morning glory, affection and determination. The morning glory which blooms for a day differs not at heart from the giant pine that lives for a thousand years. Okay, so this is someone who is, again, they want to be successful. They are pursuing you. They, they are determined to get your forgiveness, um, to make things right with you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay, we have surrender the habits of people pleasing. Speak your needs and be true to yourself. Focus on your own happiness instead of trying, instead of always trying to make everyone else happy. Okay, so there's a message you have to put yourself first. You know, it does look like someone is coming back around and wanting your forgiveness, your approval, your understanding. Um, but there's a message you have to, um, you know, really do what's best for you and. Uh, be careful of falling into any habits of people pleasing. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.